Hi, my name is Christian Atkins. This particular segment is going to be on trees and landscaping. Charlotte County and the city of Northport are very similar in their tree requirements. All trees four inches in diameter must be shown on the site plan measured 12 inches above the ground. All trees that are to be removed must be shown and indicated on the site plan along with their species. And the same thing again for all trees that are to remain must also be indicated on the site plan along with their species. Both Charlotte County and the City of Northport have brochures on their website outlining what is required on their site plans and which trees um, are acceptable. There is a point system for the trees that you want to keep and also the trees that you are going to plant and also a list of species that you can plant and a list of species that are prohibited or that are not native to Florida. There are also heritage trees. These are oak trees and pine trees that measure a minimum of 30 and 45 inches at DBH. DBH stands for diameter at breast height, which is measured 54 inches above the ground. These trees are protected and if the tree can be saved by positioning the house on the lot in a certain position so that the tree can remain, then the homeowner has no alternative but to accept the location of the house. If the heritage tree needs to be removed, the cost of the permit is as follows. It's $150 per inch. So on a 30 inch diameter tree, you are looking at a permit cost of $4,500. Furthermore, an arborist will have to be hired to cut the tree down as these trees are generally so big that you risk damaging adjacent properties when the tree is felled. The picture here represents a live oak. It is a heritage tree. The tree trunk on this tree measures around 50 inches in diameter and you can see from the size of the canopy that it spreads from property line to property line. At this point, we're going to segue into the landscaping. Okay, this is a site plan that I had prepared for a customer a while back. And I chose an oversized corner lot because it has most of the uh, items in here that I want to talk about. So here you can see where we actually positioned the house on the lot. This here is your driveway. This line here is the edge of the road. And this line, this dot dashed line right here is actually the property line. This is what you are actually paying for. Okay. This in front and to the side of the house is the swale. This is the area of land that belongs to the county. However, we all have the privilege of paying for the upkeep on this parcel of land. So when these um, drawings go into the building department, Public Works is actually going to want this area here in the swale to be excavated, regraded, and sodded. Any dirt that the contractor touches, the contractor must put sod. They cannot leave just dirt. The customer wanted this area right here to be left alone as virgin ground, so all the trees in here were all kept. This actually negated the fact that he needed to put in any additional trees. We have a six foot utility easement down the side and a 10 foot utility draining easement down the back. And again, this will be excavated, graded, and sod would be put in. This particular lot had an additional 10 foot easement for utility. You don't usually see this on a lot that doesn't have uh, water in the back, either a canal or some kind of water feature. On this particular lot, there were no heritage trees. However, had there been a heritage tree, say for example, over here in this location, we would have had to have moved the house over in order to leave the tree be in place. So these heritage trees can only be cut down as a matter of last resort. I hope you enjoyed the video. This concludes this particular section on landscaping and trees.